Here's Diane Feinstein. I want you know, poor Diane Feinstein. Eddie. <laughs> That's a whole separate conversation. But here's Diane Feinstein. This is from some 20, 30 years ago. I've got a clip of her on C-SPAN, and she's really upset because the NAFTA agreement is about to happen. So going back in time here to the Clinton era, and she's making a very valid point saying that America cannot be the welfare system for Mexico. So what's happened? What's changed? I ask you that. I'm reading your comments. Don't forget to comment. I love reading them. But let's take a look at Senator Dianne Feinstein, a blast from the past. When you come to these two borders, you have to remember a couple of things. In Mexico, there is no welfare. There is no AFDC. There is no SSI. There is no Medicaid. There is no Social Security. There is no Medicare. And there's a 58 cent an hour minimum wage. Mexico does nothing to enforce its border. It is my view that if we are going to have a North American free trade agreement, that Mexico must do its share. Because the day when America could be the welfare system for Mexico is gone. We ah. simply can't. What happened to that? Where are those Democrats? Anyone know where they went? I mean, I know she's got her own set of challenges, but don't forget, you know, Joe Biden was part of that camp at one point, too. They were all worried about immigrants coming here because the concern was that it was going to take away wages from people here in the U.S. And so there was a very different school of thought not so long ago. I mean, you go up until quite recently, I would say until the border wall, the infamous Trump border wall, they were actually pretty negative on the whole idea of, you know, the open, open society. And then something changed. Maybe it changed a little bit prior to that. But I'll just point out that even Barack Obama as president was not for open borders. This is relatively new. So something's changed. Something has shifted in the Democrat Party where they're all about, OK, come one, come all. Why? Why, really? And, and now they're, they're making excuses, saying, really, they're working hard. They're working with all these regional governments there in Latin America to, to deal with the crisis instead of saying, OK, let's just put up a a wall, whether you want an actual physical wall, whatever you want to do, they could do something to actually secure the border, but they choose not to. They very deliberately choose not to. And you have to ask yourself why. What is that really about? There has been a massive shift, one that I don't really think even helps them, if you would, politically. I don't think it's wise to make this, this choice that they have so made. So Texas very much going to be on our radar all this week, and we're gonna continue talking about it because what I wanna drill down into is understand what has shifted. Why is this dramatic change there now in the Democrat Party?